So you want to wear a sari and you've never worn one before, well you're in the right place. Today we're going to learn the easiest drape that you can master in all of five minutes. Grab your sari and your underskirt and a crop top and let's get started. to drape a sari? Well, you need a sari, and I would recommend something that is super lightweight. This is a satin silk sari from tiabuba.com, and these are probably the easiest saris to drape. Uh, they make great bridesmaid saris and are super easy to handle. You're also going to want a crop top. If you want to show less skin, you can definitely make this longer, as long as there's enough space for you to be able to tuck the sari into your underskirt. I'm wearing a sari silhouette, but any uh, skirt with a drawstring waist will do. You'll notice that the traditional underskirts have cotton drawstring without the elastic and that's a little uncomfortable because you have to tie it really tight so whatever undergarment you use whether that is tights with a drawstring or a sari silhouette make sure it has a really strong drawstring and an elastic as a barrier between your skin and um, the drawstring so you can tie it really tight and everything will stay put that is super important because once you start moving you don't want anything to come undone all right, so you're gonna need your sari, grab your sari and have a few pins, safety pins uh, handy. And let's begin. So the average sari is 5.4 meters or six yards. And that's about how much most women need in order to get the drape right. Um, this one is a little bit longer. It's I think 6.3 meters. You'll see a lot of saris if the blouse isn't cut off it will be about 6.3 meters and so I always keep the blouse on because it allows for extra pleats. Some saris, actually most saris, this one uh, doesn't have a simple end and then on the other end a very fancy end. The sari as you'll notice is just the same on both ends so it doesn't really matter where you start draping. You want to take one end and you want to tuck it in to your underskirt. And you want to tuck it in. You can start back here. You can also start as much as you want up here. I usually just tuck it in here. And you want to make sure that it lightly grazes the floor. This is going to be the, the inner layer, so it doesn't have to be perfect. When you tuck this in, you don't want to just like scrunch it and tuck it in. You want to make sure it's flat so that you don't get any bulges here. And this is where tying this drawstring comes in, becomes really important, because if you don't do that, it's gonna fall out and then you're not gonna feel comfortable and you're gonna feel like your sari's gonna come undone. So tight drawstring and then tuck it in nice and flat. And then turn and tuck as you go, repeating, up until you get to your right hand side. And you might be thinking, is this skirt really gonna keep this entire sari together? And the answer is yes. If you're wearing the right undergarment, you are going to tuck it in, you're going to drape the sari, and you're gonna feel just as comfortable as you would in any piece of clothing. Okay, so once I've tucked it in, once you get to around about your belly button, you wanna let the sari go and get to the other end. So you're holding the other end in front of you. And you're gonna take this, bring it around to the back, and guide the sari. So you wanna put the palu over your shoulder. You wanna make sure it hits the back of your knee, around about, and it's gonna look like this in the front. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna gather all of the fabric and place it over your left shoulder. You wanna take the edge that's closest to you and pull it tight, bring it around your body, like that, and bring it in front. And so that's gonna be the length of your palu, and you're going to bring this in front. And what, make sure you're not stiffing on the sari. So remember at the beginning, you tucked in the sari here right around your belly button? Well, you would have now formed a loop. So this is the remaining sari, and this is how much you have to pleat. So before I start pleating, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pull this edge tight and I'm gonna hold it here on my right thigh and add a pin. So this pin, you wanna make sure you grab all of the fabric. So this layer, the bottom layer, as well as your skirt, and just pin it in. So once you pin this, you have this loop. 
and we're gonna start pleating. Now pleating is very easy. You're gonna take your hand, hold it with the three fingers and the thumb. Bring the sari up to here, grasp, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna guide the fabric between the pinky and the thumb. Pinky and the thumb. We have a video on just on this part, so if you wanna check that out, you can. Once you've pleated all the fabric, if there's any fabric left here, don't worry about it. If you can't take another pleat, that's not a problem. We'll take care of that later. What you're gonna do is you're gonna let go and you're gonna have your pleats. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna stagger the pleats ever so slightly. This is where you get into pro level draping. So this is a very tiny little step that you can do to really up your drape game and look like the pros. Okay, so once I've staggered it ever so slightly, you wanna take your safety pin and pin it. So at this point you can take it and pin it either together or all together to your skirt. And that's what I'm gonna do here. So you're taking it all the way to your skirt and then pinning it. And that way when you go to tuck it in, it's not gonna move. You can step on it, nothing's gonna come undone. And then if you have a little bit of fabric here like this, what you wanna do is just untuck this part right here Smooth it back, but then fold it forward. And this will allow this pleat not to open up. And then just tuck it in so it looks nice and neat. So now what you're gonna do, so the bottom of your drape is done. You're gonna pull this nice and tight. And then you're going to pull this over your chest. You wanna add a safety pin here or you can even add it down here. It's totally up to you. And that's pretty much it. If you don't wanna hold these pleats, what you can do is just let your sari fall, bring it up like that, and add a pin right here. You can either add it to the skirt or you can add it to the top. What, what I do when I absolutely need both of my hands is I will take up the palu and just do that. And that's pretty much it. You're ready for the event, for the wedding. And that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. If you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more drape videos.